We've got all six filters right here cut up, ready for inspection. We're gonna check out from the Fram to the AC Delco to the Wix to the AC Delco Ultra Guard Gold, k &N, and the PPE. You can see the size difference on the PPE. But we've got these all cut open. We're gonna take a closer look at these, see what makes them cool filters and what makes them uh, not so cool filters. So let's get into it. Here for the 3.0 Duramax diesel as well as the 2.7 liter Turbo Max in the Silverado and now in the Colorado. So we're gonna start off with just taking a look at each of the filters, looking at them visually. And uh, yes, we can go in there and get all the specs on everything. But I think it's better if we just cut these open. So what I have is this little oil filter cutter here. So we'll cut each one of these oil filters open, take a look inside, see what makes them a good looking filter and uh, how much filter element is inside there. And we'll do a quick little comparison on these. So what we're gonna work with is the Fram PH12447. This filter was $9.16 from Amazon. And then we have the standard AC Delco PF66 oil filter here. And this filter was $10.99 from Amazon. We'll go ahead and take a look inside there. We'll compare. I did notice some similarities between these two. That uh, again, once we cut up, we'll definitely find out more about them. So then we have the Wix. This is uh, said to be a really good filter based off of online, WL10351. And this one was $9.29 off of Amazon as well. And you can see some differences in there already. The other ones had plastic inside when this one has metal. So again, we'll cut these up and take a closer look. That's definitely one of the very common ones that people like to use. The Fram has a bad rap on the internet. PF66 is pretty much what you're gonna get if you go to a dealership and get your oil changed on. This is just the standard filter. And then uh, there's an upgrade right here, UPF66R. Now there was a bulletin that came out a while back on these UPF66Rs that basically these PF66 were very hard to come by and it was acceptable to use a, uh, or recommended to use the UPF66R and they also listed different variants of oil filters that you could use. And um, this one is a very high quality feeling oil filter. Can't wait to cut this one open and take a look inside there. We'll just do a comparison on these guys. So then we have the K&N. This one's very popular as well. People like to talk about this one. You know, I didn't talk about the UPF 66R price. Let's see this right here. And that is $13.52 on Amazon. All right, back to the K&N. Part number is uh, HP 1021. These are really nice filters because they have the little wrench head on the end so that way you don't have to fight with getting them off. And especially in the 3.0 Duramax, there's a very tight area and that's gonna come in handy. Cutting this open, we're gonna see why this filter is so expensive and that is coming in at 2174. But it's a good, good feeling filter. We've got metal inside, so let's go ahead and roll on to the big guy, the PPE, this one is has the best micron rating. This has the best rating of everything. So we're gonna cut this open. Look, it's factory sealed. Let me cut that open right now. All right, so the PPE oil filter, I'm gonna let you take a closer look at this box here. Just because they have a lot of information just on the box itself. Now this filter, I'm not gonna read off the part, yeah, it's. 1140006500 that is the filter number part number right there for it and uh, this is the only 10 micron filter in there but we'll get into that a little bit later again we're going to cut up all of these and this one pains me because it was 3742 on Amazon you can get them cheaper from uh, different distributors of PPE products though so don't just rely on Amazon but Amazon is convenient when uh when you need it so let's go ahead and open this up and take a look as to the difference. Already I can feel this is much heavier than all the other ones. You can see the anti-drain back valve right there. So we'll look at the hole differences on the K&N right there. This one has a magnet down on the bottom too, so I can't wait to take a closer look into this. We're gonna cut this open and uh, let's take a closer look at all of these. We'll cut them all open and let's get deeper into it. 
Let's start it off with the Fram here. So this one was $9.16 from Amazon. This is the cheapest costing filter. We've got uh, just basic, basic. Here's our filter element here. Anti-drain back valve. We do have a plastic core inside there. And here is our filter media. It's just a good all around filter right there. And here is the head of it. Thin metal up top here. Nice open holes for passages through there. Good amount of threads. Let's go and see how this compares to the uh, AC Delco now. All right, here's our PF66 AC Delco filter. This is the standard one, standard GM one. This was $10.99 on Amazon. Very similar setup to the uh, Fram that we just took apart. This giant area here. We'll pay closer attention to the pleats in these as we continue on and look at the more expensive filters. But we see the plastic core inside there. Anti-drain back valve. Here's the head right here. Let's go ahead and compare this to the Fram. just because they looked oddly similar uh, outside until we cut it up. And you can see that there is a little bit of a difference there. So while they may have similar features, I've been told that they're made of the same plant, but I can't confirm that because I don't have enough information as to that. So we'll just leave those like that. Let's hop into the wicks. WL10351. This is uh, getting into the more premium filters, I believe. Uh, this feels a little, a little bit stiffer. This is a. That's nice. So you can see the difference here. We were already going to a larger media. We may as well just keep going back and forth. We'll just do full on comparisons here. So you can see much better area. The pleats are roughly the same uh, distance apart. That's just nasty. Let's see here, oh, this one's a little bit deformed too. So we've got the metal. This one doesn't, so that's why it's all nasty. That's just glued in there. So you can see where a little bit of extra money was spent. I didn't even mention that this was $9.29 on Amazon. So this is actually a very good value based off of just this. We do have the metal core inside there as opposed to the plastic core that the Fram and the AC Delco have. And uh, again, more surface area for debris to be caught. Well, I, I'm i already learning more than I knew before about these, so I am liking the amount of uh, filtration area on this. We didn't look at this. So the anti-drain back valve. And you can see the flow. Oh, look at this. There's a crap inside there. Okay. So, yeah, that's nice. Don't know what that is. I think it's just like glue remnants. But, um, yeah, so that was in there. Looks like less threads than the other ones. All right, so that has some pros to it. Looking like a couple cons. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't even know how I took this apart. We really gotta pay better attention. All right, let's hop into the UPF 66R. So now this one was $13.52 on Amazon. Let's see the design there. I'll have the same. So we've got a metal core on this one as well. Not sure what's going on with this crap. There's a whole bunch of crap inside here too. What is that all about? So that's not cool. Um, let's go ahead and compare it to the Wix. So it looks like the Wix has more filter surface area. And again, the metal core, we'll compare the metal cores. They look very similar. All right, so let's take a look here. Oh, this just has a nice flow through area. 
where these others have like restrictions because they're kind of offset when this just flows right through. So I think I like that better. Like that, I like that aspect. All right, let's move on to the K&N. K&N comes in at $21.74 on Amazon. And again, this nut is really handy with the tight area that you have on like the 3.0 Duramax diesel. Space inside there. Same as the others. We got metal core. Very tiny amount of filter area. This looks, so it's about the same as a factory one. Still not as large as the Wix. And the middle core looks nice inside there. Much tighter pleats on this though, that's for sure. And it looks like they're glued together there, but tighter pleats than uh, we've seen. So tighter pleats and uh, a little less area. So still, I think I like this Wix a little bit better if we just ignore the little fuzzies that I saw inside there. Anti-drain, look at all the, what is that? That's like nasty dust. Seriously, you see that? Does this camera catch that? That's some gross dust in there. It's all metallic dust. Look, it's all inside there. I don't know what, okay. All right. So that dust could have been from when I was cutting this. I mean, I just use the tool, it just rolls around, but the it's more of just cutting it on the outside. So I guess that's a possibility. So let's not jump to conclusions here, but that's the first I've seen of all that nastiness in there. And the design of, well, the fluid passage holes there so it's very similar to like the original AC Delco on the back. Oh, look at that. It's very similar to the uh, AC Delco one, isn't it? All right, now let's go into the big guy here. Now this one, again, 37.42 on Amazon. You can find it cheaper. Um, from distributors and whatnot, but it's got a heavy duty spring at the base. It's being held on by this magnet down there. That's pretty cool. I really like that magnet. I think that's a very neat feature. Catch some uh, debris down there. And then obviously the filter media. I mean, no joke. We've got a metal core inside. No joke, but so they say 10 micron filtration, 188 square inches, as opposed to the 30 micron filtration, 133 square inches of filter media. And um, you can see that firsthand, so I like that there's the metal there. So we'll compare it to our current leader on how much filter mass there is. But what a difference. That's, I don't know, I, I feel like their numbers are a little off on this 188 square inches versus 133 square inches. But again, if we cut this up and um, strong it out, take, take a look, but filter media wise, this the PPE one is double the size. And again, metal inside. So I think this is showing why it's a 30 something dollar filter. Um, you're getting double, double the media in there and you're not getting the plastic inside. So seeing this, I don't like the plastic inside. I do like the UPF 66R with the metal core and then the filter media is, uh, is a little bit larger. So I think personally, if I was to stick with OEM, I like the UPF 66R. Uh, budget level aftermarket, I would say the Wix seems like a pretty good value there, um, but all out, the best, I personally would say that I like this one and this is the one that I actually use on my truck currently. And I was thinking about using the UPF 66R just because I have access to them for uh, a good value. But 
I think this is going to trump any kind of cheaper cost than a filter just because the amount of, look at all that. That's just crazy. I, this is a very good looking filter. So I hope this helped uh, some people make up their decision on what kind of filters they like. Stay tuned for more.